list was uh, based on looking at uh, property uh, across the country at a zip code level because that's really at a level uh, that's closer to the neighborhoods that consumers are making decisions about. And we looked at two factors, how quickly the inventory was moving and how popular the listings were on Realtor.com to determine overall hotness. Uh, and we ranked every zip code in the country and there's over 33,000 uh, zip codes. And now when you focus in on the top 10 that we're featuring in our report, uh, number one on the list is a suburb of uh, Fort Worth, Texas, uh, Watauga, uh, that basically is a poster child for the themes that we see resonating behind the hottest markets in the country. Uh, number one, the job market there in Dallas-Fort Worth more broadly has been uh, phenomenal. So they've been producing jobs, their unemployment is well beneath uh, the national rate. Uh, so consumers are in good financial condition uh, and are very confident about the future. And so that, that really is powering uh, the, uh, the housing market specifically. Number two, uh, it's an affordable market and especially uh, not just across relative to the country, homes are cheaper in Watauga than uh, across the United States, but they're also much cheaper relative to the broader Dallas-Fort Worth area. So affordability is a theme that we see in a lot of these hot markets. Uh, and then finally, number three is millennials. Uh, this is the largest generation in history we had expected uh, them to be a significant factor this year, and we indeed are seeing that. Most of the hottest markets uh, see them represented in, in large numbers because they already live in large numbers in those areas, and because of the economic conditions, especially where it's affordable, we're seeing them enter the housing market. Uh, and that is true uh, of Fort Worth, but it's also true of Houston, and most of the Texas markets actually are being dominated today by uh, 25 to 34 year olds specifically. Yes, Austin uh, for the state is, uh, and it's in the top 20 overall. Uh, Texas, of course, if you look at the biggest, hottest states, uh, they're Colorado, Texas, and California, uh, places that have been the strongest economically. Uh, and in the case of Texas, affordability in most areas continue to, continues to be an advantage that draws population to the market. So the hottest zip code in Houston is zip code uh, 77014, uh, which is uh, closer um, to George Bush International, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly. Uh, it is ranked out of all the zip codes in the country 114th. So it's not quite in the territory uh, because the Houston market uh, more broadly hasn't been as strong as Dallas, Austin, um, and San Antonio but still relatively speaking compared to the rest of the country, that's a, that's a pretty strong uh, local housing market. Uh, inventory this year has moved a median of 36 days, uh, which is over three weeks faster than the rest of Houston uh, and a whopping six weeks faster than the country. So we're seeing that variable and we are seeing millennials there. 36% of the purchase mortgages so far this year in Harris County uh, were specifically to 25 to 34 year olds. So a lot of the attributes are there, it's just not as strong as we're seeing in Dallas and, and San Antonio. So we take that hotness index, which is based on the popularity of the listings and how quickly the inventory is moving. We measured it for the first six months of this year. Uh, so we took into account um, you know, all the data that we had going in, uh, into uh, the end of the spring and into the summer. Uh, and then we looked at uh, the top zip code in each market in, in the country and that's how the absolute rankings were produced because these tend to be uh, areas that I've heard people refer to as areas that are skipped over because they aren't the most sought after um, and yet they're not far out uh, in, in new developing places. Um, and that actually fits the dynamic of where millennials are looking to buy because they are looking typically at more closer end suburbs, uh, but they're also trying to trade off what they can afford with the quality of life and still get the kind of home that they want. And, and that's why you see areas uh, that are what you might label more up and coming um, compared to what might have been hot just a few years ago.